I wish that I could fit everything that I want to say in every one of my tutorials, build vids, tip vids, combat vids. I wish I could fit every scenario and every aspect of every test that I ever do all into one video. And sometimes I don't because I assume most people probably know some of the information so I'll leave a lot of stuff out. And I just want to say that through thorough all kinds of dynamic and scenario testing, I 100% know what rockets are used for. They're meant for ad clear and not boss killers anymore. 100% know that. So when I did the test yesterday against the Minotaur, I'm referring to the why these rockets suck video. If you didn't watch it, you probably should watch that first. But the reason why I shot the Minotaur the way that I did is because I know how rockets are used and they're on the running gun fly meant for bosses that are not going to be stationary for the main kill, like the yellow bar ads and stuff like that. You're flying around the map and your shots aren't always going to be as accurate because of that. So I thought to show you this aspect of testing, I would just show you me shooting the Minotaur's feet versus the curtain call and then, you know, sleepless and stuff. So you can kind of just get the idea of what I'm trying to portray to you is like, you're not going to be that accurate on the fly and it's always more wise to shoot a rocket at an enemy's feet than try to hit their body when you're on the move. And that was what that test was basically showing. And then I have some people commenting, some people just getting stupid in the comments basically, talking just hellish shit, just trolling dude, you know what I mean? And one in particular is old Andy Ass, and that's what we're going to call this dude today. He tells me that rockets do more damage when they have more velocity. So I want to show Andy that that's not true. I actually gave him the most well detailed explanation about why they weren't, and I even explained it inside the video that I made yesterday saying that, hey, these aren't the boss killers. I just was letting you know that, it, hey, it was kind of keeping up with the grenade launcher against that yellow bar, but I know that that grenade launcher would shit all over in a rally barricade against a boss. But on the fly with grenade launchers, you're not going to get many ads down because it's not going to have the blast radius rockets are going to have, and it's just overall better to have a rocket if you're one of the main ad clearers on your team. Some people like to ad clear, some people like to boss melt. I used to like to boss melt. I don't like it anymore because it's no, there's no talent in it. You just stand in a well, you get your favorite grenade launcher that so-and-so's YouTube channel said to put on because it was the max damage, and then you shoot the boss with it. There's no skill involved in that. But I like to add clear. I like to clear everything out and do boss DPS. And with rockets, fill prep cluster gives me the highest DPS that I can have and have the most ad clear because of its blast radius, its handling, its accuracy. It's just overall the best kind of rocket you can have for the scenario in the game of ad clear if you're going to be ad clearing. Those of you that don't shoot ads with your rocket, you don't know how to ad clear. That's just bottom line. I know that from just experience in 10,000 hours in this game or whatever the amount is. That if you're not shooting rockets at, at ads, then what are you doing? They're not meant for bosses. They're meant to clear ads. You know what I mean? You're supposed to clear the ad with the rocket launcher. That's the purpose of a rocket nowadays. You're supposed to shred all the ads. It takes like 10 ads out at once, and you don't, you know, you clear the ads quicker to help your team out do objectives and things like that. You know what I mean? So it's part of the role. But anyways. This video is about the seconds you really don't save in a Luna versus Rally Barricade with a low or high velocity rocket, and also the fact that they don't do more damage by having more velocity. So let's get into this video. Sorry about the rant. Alright, so we're going to do two tests to wrap this up. The first one is going to be the direct damage with a low versus high velocity rocket. Just to show you all that it doesn't do more or less damage. 75, 80, and then there's 351, so there's a bottom one at the bottom left, if you can't really see that one. And then a 2164. So remember those numbers, okay? We'll go back through them again. And then the cluster is 253 for each cluster from any rocket, no matter what it is. How they hit, or how many hit, is all up to just random cluster RNG. Three hit in this situation. So we'll do the test again, and then do the shot, just to make sure the numbers are still consistent. So we're going to hit him directly on, and then boom, 2164, 7580, and then 351s. Now let's go to the higher velocity, which is about 40% more velocity using the curtain call. So you can kind of see side by side. That's a crap load more velocity. So this should be a lot more damage if it did more damage for velocity. So let's do the shot. Boom, it hits. Same numbers. 7580, 2164, and 351s. And then the cluster hits, and only two clusters landed out of this theory of 
Low Blast does more cluster damage, only two hit out of that, because it's random. It doesn't mean that it's ever going to do more than a High Blast. Same numbers again, 2164, 7580, and 351s. And then only one cluster landed out of all the clusters on that shot, going back to its random. Now watch this, I try to do a jump shot right here, and the rocket won't let me fire because the handling again is so low. There's no point in ever using any kind of low blast rocket, a bad omens, a Zenobia, there's just no point in PvE, they don't give you any benefit at all. That's why I never use them, and that's why the full prep cluster, alloy casing, quick launch, sleepless, with the handling masterwork, is the god roll in PvE, for those that do use rockets. Now for those saying it's faster with Luna and Barricades when you have small blast, I'm going to show you how badass quick launch is. Watch this. It takes 4 rockets to kill him, and it takes 5.14 seconds to kill him. Now keep in mind that it's hard to get Greg to stand where you want him to stand, and the main thing you gotta worry about is he stands right next to an explody block thing, so trying to get him away from that is kind of a hard task because he wants to go wherever he wants to go basically. So the next test is going to be a tad farther away, but I did account for that and it's 0.2 seconds farther away than it was with the sleepless. Now let's look at the time to kill difference. And it's going to be 5.13 seconds. So from the range differences you save 0.01 tenth of a second, but when you balance it out from the two ranges it's really about 0.2 seconds faster by being in a rally barricade or with Lunas and having a low blast high velocity rocket. So understand that. Usually when I get comments I try my best to correct people when they say something that I know is false because like I said a million times dude I test almost everything in this entire game and I can't always fit in everything that I want to sometimes I forget to say stuff or don't know how to Put it in video the test or scenario that I'm trying to explain so I try to get the best overall just thing you can see and just kind of go from there with it just you know hopefully it explains itself but then there's other times such as the video yesterday about the rockets where people were like why are you shooting the feet or velocity does more damage on direct hits or you're doing more DPS with lower blast rockets and none of that's true I mean when you have the role that I'm talking about with the quick launch the alloy the fill prep then you have out in the battlefield, great rocket, and on a Luna and Rally Barricade fast shooting rocket just as fast by 0.2 seconds slower than a Curtain Call or a Bad Omens rocket. I mean that's 0.2 seconds is all you gain and that's what I was getting at. I was trying to show you like how awesome this rocket is and everything that it offers and how shitty these rockets are and how they offer shit. That's pretty much what the whole video was about. And like I said, I wish I could get out everything that I did go through and test. You get to watch a 12 minute video, but you forget about all the months. And I mean, the, some of the stuff, I already knew a lot of the tests before I even made the video because I started testing it when D2 first launched, so I already knew half the stuff. I just had to go find video to show you what it was, basically what it was, you know? So, anyways, like I said, if you comment and you don't have correct information, I will automatically know if you're wrong or not because I'll know that I did the test and I'll know that you didn't because if you are trying to argue with me and say that I'm wrong when I'm the one that did the test, I'm going to know that you're just full of shit because I know you didn't do the test because if you did the test, you see the same shit that I'm seeing. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm trying to get at. So you will never catch me making a video about a subject I don't know 100% about. And sorry again if I can't fit it all in or answer all the little tidbits about every little detail and scenario of the topic in 10 minutes in a video. Sorry that I can't get it out, but like I said, I try to put the tests together that make the most sense that I feel for the video, and then sometimes I should stop assuming that most people know some information, because obviously they don't, and I guess I should maybe just cover a little bit more, maybe make videos longer, I don't know, but anyways, like I said, I don't make videos to not know what the hell I'm talking about, and if I wasn't great at speed clearing in this game and doing what I do, I wouldn't even make videos about it. I wouldn't even try to make anybody a beast if I wasn't a beast myself. As arrogant and shitty as that sounds. That's just, oh, sorry, whatever. But anyways, dudes, those of you that are awesome, it doesn't go unnoticed. Those of you that like to just troll and think you know shit just because you heard somebody else say it, fuck you. And Andy ass, I will keep up my good work. All you other guardians, I will see you next time. In space.